The police are hunting for the owner and top management of the Africa Spirits Limited, a Thika-based distiller at the center of tax evasion controversy following a raid at the premises which unearthed counterfeit excise stamps and illegally imported ethanol amounting to 312,000 liters. This is a case of massive, massive tax evasion and manufacture of outrightly fake and counterfeit products that imperil the health of those of us who consume alcoholic beverages. And that's why we want to take a thorough look at the entire value chain, right from the beginning at the border up to these this, this premises. We have government agencies overseeing the borders. Sometimes they, they use what we call panya routes uh, to enter the country, but by and large we are investigating uh, how that either no is smuggled into the country. And any person where we, from whichever government agency is involved uh, shall be made to account. The illegal activities meant that up to 1.2 billion shillings in revenue had escaped the taxman. Speaking at the scene, police boss Joseph Boynett stated that the company's license has been suspended and a show cause letter written to the organization to explain why its license should not be permanently revoked. About the owners of these premises, unfortunately, for reasons that we do not know, we, we think they know themselves, they went into hiding. And that to us suggests that they know something that we probably do not know. Or in simple language, they know they have been up to wrongdoing all that long. That's why they have decided to disappear. Why run away if you, if you know you have not done anything wrong? DCI boss George Kinotti said that the case against the company was watertight based on the evidence available. What we have already done by, I mean, I forwarding our files to the director of public prosecution, which means I've already established prima facie case against these people. That's already what I've established, that they have got a case to answer for facilitating theft of public funds. No what you are waiting for, it's just to see them being hooked to the court, just that. So we have concluded, we have our evidence. The Africa Spirits Limited produces Blue Moon Vodka, Legend Brandy, Furaha Brandy, Glen Rock Whiskey, Furaha Gin, and Gypsy King Gin. The company, which started in 2004, is part of the conglomerate Yana's Continental Group, whose portfolio includes Wines of the World, which distributes global premium alcohol brands like Jack Daniels and Famous Grouse.